Hey everybody, this is Perch. Uh, today we get the news, and, and we had suspected this based on how the solicitation was written, but we didn't have final confirmation until today that Cable, uh, one of the titles in the Dawn of X, now Reign of X line, is coming to an end. Now, Cable launched a little bit late. It didn't not well, not late. It just it didn't launch with the initial launch Dawn of X titles. It actually hit uh, kind of right before uh, the pandemic. Cable number one was in March of 2020, and then basically we got that that long delay, and then it came back in the summer. So, but it did like the first issue launched. We had a three month break. And then back it came. Um, Cable launched uh, when it first came out in March at 52,000 copies. And for what it's worth, that was one of the lowest um, you know, launch titles. It launched underneath Hellions, for example, which came in at 55,000 in March. Um, and a couple other books, uh, if you look at kind of the original uh, launch titles for a lot of these uh, these books. You know, Excalibur launched at eighty three thousand. Marauders launched at eighty six thousand. X Men launched at two hundred and fifty five thousand. But of course, that was a lot of variant covers and other things. Even Fallen Angels, which is the only other book that has been canceled out of the X lineup, uh, that launched at eighty six thousand uh, copies, basically. And then, and then Fallen Angels, uh, when all was said and done. I think by the time it got to its sixth issue, and that's when it ended, it was at 39,000, so just under 40,000 copies. So then taking us back to Cable, Cable's number one issue was at, uh, at 52,143, and that's where it sat. So, you know, uh, we'll get to kind of what some of this means here. Uh, anyway, it, we're, the press release and kind of the comments are very quick to point out it is not a cancellation, it's a series finale. The title is ending for now. Uh, those kinds of comments. Um, I, I I do like how series finale has replaced cancellation as <laughs> kind of the, the, the go to for what people say. Um, at any rate, this book was written by Jerry Duggan uh, with art by Phil Notto, who I think did pretty much all the art. Uh, I'm trying to now remember if there was a different artist on this. Um, but the two are basically gearing up for young Cable to go up against his older war veteran future self. Uh, which may or may not be the full future self because they've traveled through time a bunch. Anyway, it's it's it's. Uh, you may remember that at one point, um, uh, Cable, the young Cable, came onto the scene by killing the old Cable version. So uh, you know this is some some revenge, and the uh, the basically the solicitation points out that while the X Men gear up for the highly anticipated Hellfire Gala, not sure about that, um, the uh, young Nathan Summers will have to contend with his future self. The past and future of Nathan Summers will finally collide in a game changing confrontation that will set this iconic character on a new path. So we will see. To a lot of people, uh, this cancellation has come as a a absolute shock, um, which is is interesting um because it is uh it, it it shouldn't really be a shock uh again from the numbers that that i mentioned to you earlier uh the title debuted fairly low um it was not uh it was not at all uh, one of the top sellers and just comparing it against other books that marvel was putting out um you know that it just it, it, it's not a huge surprise that it's lower um, cable even, so even with the, uh, you know, it, and basically I, I gave you those numbers before those are from March. They're verified, uh, through both diamond, the publisher and Comicron. Um, you might remember that March was kind of the last month, March, 2020, where we got reliable numbers. And then after that, uh, the numbers got pretty dodgy. Uh, it got, uh, unclear as to what the estimates were. Um, people have been doing estimates. And as I think I've noted, the estimates are weirdly high. In a lot of cases, there's there's titles here that just don't don't necessarily add up uh, to everything um, in terms of what's actually been selling. Um, but even with these kind of inflated estimates um, in this range, it's showing cable uh, at uh, twenty two thousand to twenty seven thousand uh, at various points during the, the year. So so one way or another, uh, this this title is low. I think we can all we can all kind of agree on that, that uh, whatever. Whatever numbers you choose to believe, um, Cable was not uh, was not doing particularly well. Uh, there was this brief period where there was a, a dawn, you know, a, a, ten, a ten of swords bump, where the title was getting into the thirties. But again, that's that's it put it at one of the lower um, X books. Now, for what it's worth, um, a different X book, uh, X Factor, 
is reportedly lower. Now, how do I want to say this? I've, I've gotten some numbers for the Xbooks following March. Um, I would like to double verify them. I, I mentioned this in the, uh, the, the uh, House of X Powers of 10 video and where I talk about the X sales in general and kind of where they went. Um, but overall, um, the, the numbers line up exactly with what I've got here in terms of where the book was at. Um, it's, uh, it, was, it was hovering kind of down there in the lower end. And uh, in particular, you know, some other books that, that are probably in the same space is X Factor, Excalibur, New Mutants, uh, Marauders, and Hellions are also fairly low in the grand scheme of things. And so I, I mention all this because, uh, like I said, the, the announcement that it's being canceled is coming as this, this very huge shock to people. You're seeing uh, people on Twitter just not getting it and some of the various X podcasts out there um, not understanding because, of course, the X line is is dramatically popular and it's, it's, it's selling amazing everywhere and everybody's buying it. How in the world could they possibly not uh, not be continuing it? Well, it's certainly always possible that Jerry Duggan is, is ending the series at a point and it's also very possible that Marvel is going to be relaunching this thing uh, with a brand new number one with an older cable and we're doing more. It's, it's, it's certainly possible. The idea of a series finale and that there may be another season up and any, I mean, who knows what will happen. Um, but it's also, I mean, and it's also possible that these comics are all selling dramatically higher than any of the numbers I've seen. And I'm being basically snowed by being given uh, lower numbers. It's possible that all the comics uh, that were coming out when we did have reliable numbers in January, February, and March of 2020 did this dramatic boomerang rebound and suddenly we're selling 3X of what they were in March, defying every single sales cycle that we've seen for the last 30 years. Yes, it's possible. It, it, it's not true, but it's possible, um, that that is happening. So, um, I, you know, it, I, I'm, I'm struck a little bit by the fact that the comic numbers are being obscured. Um, there is a reluctance to face kind of real facts about what's going on with the comics. And I think this is, you know, it's, I think this is nothing but harmful. And I'll give you an example of why. Let's say for a moment that there are a bunch of X fans out there, uh, there are, uh, who love this book, but they weren't compelled to buy it. They were trade waiting or maybe they're like, you know, hey, these things are $3.99, $4.99 in some cases. I can't afford all that. You know, I my, my wallet can't afford it. So, you know, I, I, yeah, I'm going to need to just... Uh, you know, I, I, I'm going to have to not buy stuff. I love these comics, but I'm not going to buy them. I'll just wait for them to come out in Marvel Unlimited. I'll, I'll just trust that everything I'm hearing on the news is that lots of other people are supporting this book and it's doing amazing. And so therefore, um, you know, it's there's there's no urgency to support this book. I can support it when, you know, when the money works out or when it's on the unlimited platform. Maybe I'll pirate it a little bit because somebody else is, uh, is supporting this book financially. I mean, all the podcasts keep saying it's the best comic ever. And the, the, the challenge is if, if we don't have the facts out there, um, you know, some of the people who in theory might actually spend money to support these books won't. And then the sales drop and then they get canceled and then everybody's surprised. I, how in the world did this get canceled? Uh, to me, that seems to be kind of an issue that we've got here with these comics. And in particular, I think it hits cable here. Uh, I, I mean, you know, X Factor and Excalibur, if you're on Twitter, you would assume that those are in the top 10 best-selling comics of all comics, and they are not. I mean, the numbers are not there for that. Um, you know, but is, I think it's 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 good, it's reasonable that creators are kind of patting each other on the back and, and uh, pimping their stuff and kind of promoting each other. There's nothing wrong with that. It's good. But at the same time, there, there also needs to be a sense of reality so that, you know, readers don't just sleep on comics because they assume everything's going well. Uh, seems like that's a problem. And I, I think that's one of the reasons why I think, you know, truth is better than lies and, <laughs> or at least maybe lies is too strong a word, but truth is better than just hiding this data because otherwise people are not going to buy into this stuff. And, you know, I, I'm not sure where the audience was there for young, young cable ever, but we won't know. Uh, and because we lived in kind of this fantasy bubble that all the X titles are doing amazing. I can tell you from the numbers I've seen, the X titles are not all doing amazing. Uh, many of them are are indefinitely a cancellation danger territory, in, at least in a window. 
Now, they're still making a lot of money. And, and keep in mind, if you're a big X fan, and you're gnashing your teeth right now because I said that. Please stop. Um, I'm not insulting the book. If you like it, you like it. It's not about that. It's about literally like if you like these books, you need to go out and buy them because if you don't, they are going to get canceled. Uh, they're not just being supported by hundreds of thousands of, of faceless people out there. Uh, they're, that That's not happening. So if you like a comic, you do need to buy it, no matter how great the picture looks on social media or on the web or wherever. Um, sales do you know, run the story at the end of the day. Uh, so for what it's worth, Cable's final issue, number 12, is out June 30th. And, uh, you know, if you're a fan of the book, certainly you can go do it. I see some people trying to rally to get a petition going to get it uncanceled. But again, I'm, I'm seeing this, this petition, this uh, why in the world would Marvel cancel a popular book? That's the problem. It wasn't. Uh, it, 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 I mean, I don't know what to tell you. That's, that's why I think getting the numbers out there is a good thing. And I think hiding the numbers and obscuring the numbers and certainly what's going on now where there's a lot of just very, very random guesses at the numbers. Uh, that's, that's, that's very dangerous, uh, because, you know, somebody is seeing the numbers, the publisher, they, they definitely are seeing them. And if you're, if you're too distant from them or believing that things are in a better state than they are, that doesn't end well, but you know, that's, that's anyway, for what it's worth, just my little advice sliding out there under the table. Did you like cable? Are you sad to see it go? Uh, what would you, you know, what do you think of all this? And, and do you, would you like to see honesty? with the numbers. Let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe. Uh, you can check out my information in the description of this video. And thanks for listening.